Hey guys, Joe from American Trucks, and today we're gonna to be working with the Barricade HD off-road front bumper with LED fog lights, fitting all 2019 and newer Ram 1500s, excluding the Rebel models. Now, this is going to be a great option for any Ram owner out there that's looking for a heavy-duty, stealthy-styled front bumper for their brand new Ram 1500. They're also looking for a bumper that is going to give you all those benefits at a budget-friendly price. So what do we have here with the Barricade HD? Well, this thing is made out of heavy duty 532 inch steel plate. It's finished in that awesome black powder coating, which is not just there to add to the looks. Albeit, if you were going for the blackout look, this would be a perfect match. It's also going to serve as a layer of protection against the elements. So this thing definitely has the looks, but does it have the off-road chops to back them up? Well, that steel plate is going to be great, obviously, but this is designed with off-roading in mind. As you guys can see, this thing tapers up really heavily at the ends, which is great for your approach angle. If you're going over something, you wanna be able to get your front tire on there, and this bumper is one of the best in the category as far as approach angle goes. So if you're doing any off-roading, that's definitely a good point and something to think about. Now, speaking about off-roading, this is also going to add some off-road utility with the addition of these two three-inch LED cube lights. They're completely plug and play. They throw a nice bright white beam about 6,000 K in color temperature. They have an aluminum housing with a polycarbonate lens on there. And all in all, they're IP67 waterproof rated, which means they're gonna withstand up to a meter of water for about 30 minutes. More abuse than it should ever see on the front end of your truck. Now, if you were looking to take this a step further here, the kit also includes some brackets for LED light bars as well. You can mount one up on the top here and you can remove these filler plates in the front and mount up another light bar there. All the hardware you need is included to install those brackets. So if you were looking to go a little bit further with the LED lighting, you could put in a couple light bars of your own. A nice touch from Barricade, good forethought there. Now, if you were looking to go all the way with the Barricade HD here, Barricade even offers you some extra goodies that are not included in this kit, but bolt right up to this bumper. You have an overrider hoop that would go right here and also a skid plate for the bottom. If you are really a serious off-roader, that would probably be a good idea to pick up as well. But again, they are not included in this kit and they're going to cost you a little bit extra. Now, speaking about cost, as far as cost goes for this one, we're looking at around 600 bucks and that is going to be one heck of a deal. You're getting a lot of stuff here, a heavy duty bumper that looks great, off-road LED fog lights included that are completely plug and play. You get a wiring harness too, all the brackets and hardware you need to get this installed. And on top of all of that, this is one of the most cost-effective options as far as front bumpers go for the brand new Ram. And that's included bumpers without LED lighting on there. So the fact that those are on there and this manages to stay so budget-friendly is an awesome thing with this one. I really like what Barricade's done with the HD. Now, before we move on to the install here, one thing I did want to make a quick note on, this is only going to fit the fifth generation Ram. So if you have a 2019 Classic, fourth generation Ram, this is not going to fit on the front end of your truck. But with that being said, the install is going to be extremely easy here as far as front bumpers go. I was really surprised at how easily not only the front bumper comes off the brand new Ram, but just how easily Barricade makes this to put on. Definitely gets an easy two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here. Should take you no longer than two hours with some basic hand tools. And another benefit, no cutting or modification required to get this installed on your truck the way we have it sitting right now. So without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and how it's done. Tools required for this install are going to be an impact, U-joint, extension, ratchet, a basic socket set ranging from 18 millimeters all the way down to eight, these Allen keys which do come included in the kit, and a wrench set ranging from 10 millimeters all the way up to 18 millimeters, and ratcheting wrenches do help a lot. So right off the bat here, you can see our truck is on the lift. I just wanted to say, you don't need a lift to do this. This is definitely extremely easy. We just do that to make it a little bit easier on our camera guy, make sure he can see everything and get you the information that you need to know to do this to your brand new Ram. First step though, we're gonna grab the ratchet eight millimeter socket. There's five bolts we're going to remove in the uh, wheel well right here. We're gonna get those out of the way and that's going to allow us to remove a plastic wheel well liner that's connected to our front bumper. So 
So now we have those three out. This piece is loose on our bumper, but it's still kind of trapped in there. So there's two more we're gonna remove and that should pull right out. And you can see those are slotted, so you only need to loosen them up to be able to pull that plastic piece out of the way. Now we're gonna come over to the other side and do the same thing. So once you got the driver side plastic removed, we can move on to the next step. And that's gonna be this master wiring harness. We gotta disconnect that and that'll unplug all the electronics on our bumper. First thing we're gonna do is move this switch from that position right there to the open position. And that will allow us to pop open this clamp right here, like so. And then if we just keep going with that, it should push the plug apart. Now, next up, we could actually move underneath the bumper here and disconnect this thing from the frame. There's three 18 millimeter nuts that hold this thing on. The one that I have the wrench on right now is a little bit tough to get to with the impact gun, so ratcheting wrench it is, but the other two aren't so bad, so we should be able to get into those with the socket and extension to remove them, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. And just like the other side, we're gonna start at the top with the ratcheting wrench, then move to the impact for the last two. Now we're gonna remove the two bolts on the outside. This is the last thing holding on our bumper, so you wanna make sure you have a good handle on it before you remove these. Now this bumper is loose, so we're just gonna pull it straight back and off the truck. So now that we have the factory front bumper off of our 2019 Ram, I figure now would be the perfect time to stop down a little bit, put it next to our new Barricade HD bumper and point out some of the key differences and improvements that new Barricade bumper is going to be making. First of which is going to come in the styling department and that's the most obvious here. We're ditching this factory chrome and plastic look that I know myself personally and a lot of you guys out there don't like the looks of and we're going over to something that I am way more fond of, steel with that black powder coating. It's going to add a nice aggressive and stealthy look to the front of our brand new 2019 Ram here. We're also going to be gaining some utility as well as this version of the Barricade HD. You're paying a little bit more to get that included LED lighting. That's nice and plug and play. That's going to be a huge upgrade in visibility over these factory halogen reflector sort of fog lights. So a nice upgrade there. The Barricade HD even allows you to go even further with the brackets included in the kit. You can mount a light bar on top of the bumper and in that slot right in the middle if you like. If you're not interested in that though, which while I'm on the topic of that, just to note again, this doesn't come with either light bar, just the cubes for the outside. And because of that, they give you some nice plugs for the middle to make that nice and flush for the front end of your truck, which you could always take that plug out again and put a light bar in there if you want to. Now, I mentioned looks earlier, and the Barricade HD is definitely going to look the part on the front end of your truck, but does it have the chops to back it up on the trail? Well, that mild steel is going to be great, definitely going to take a hit better than that factory plastic, but it's also designed with off-roading in mind. As soon as we put this on our truck and get a nice before and after shot, you're going to see just how much this opens up the approach angle on the front end of our new Ram here. As this thing tapers up at each end, it's gonna make it a lot easier to get your front tires on an obstacle if you're going over them on the trail or at the work site. So with all that out of the way, we could do a little bit of assembly on the front end of our Ram here and a little bit of assembly for our lighting and the plugs for the light bar slots, and then we can put the two together. 
So we're gonna start our work here with the LED cube lights that are going to need their brackets installed. So we're gonna start by grabbing a bracket. Now this does have a little notch cut out of it. You wanna make sure that is toward the front of the light. And once you have that, you can just slide that down in between the cooling fins on the LED light. Now with that in place, we're just gonna grab a nut here that does come included in the kit. And the fins have hexes cut out of them. So if you drop that down like that, the fins will hold that still while we can grab a bolt and come in from the side, go through that bracket and into the nut. Now once we have that started, again, I'm just gonna make sure the nut is seated in that hex cutout in the fins. We can grab the Allen key included in the kit and we're just gonna snug that up. So that's one done. We're just gonna do the same exact thing for this second light over here. And again, we're just gonna grab the bracket, make sure the notch cutout is toward the front of the LED light. Then we can just drop a nut down the fin. And then we can get that bolt in, started through the nut and tightened down. Then we can jump over to the other side of the light and do the same thing. Now one more thing we have to do before these are ready to drop into our bumper here. These 13 millimeter bolts come in the kit. They're just gonna go up through the bracket like so. And you can see those brackets have little cutouts here to hold that bolt head still. We're gonna insert this into the bumper and then come down with a 13 millimeter nut and tighten the two together. And we're just gonna get a lock washer on there and again that 13 millimeter nut. Gonna dial in the adjustment a little bit. And again, that bolt is gonna be held still. You can come in here then with the 13 millimeter socket and tighten that down. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. And again, if you don't wanna install LED lights, this does come with filler plates. They would just drop in those holes like so and then you'd be good to go. Um, we're gonna do that for the LED light bar in the middle in just a second after we get this cube light on this side installed as well. So that is gonna bring us to this space in the center here. This is for an LED light bar. Again, this kit doesn't include one, but it's a nice provision here. You get all the brackets you would need to install one, all the hardware to install one. And what we're gonna be doing in this case is dropping in these filler plates. They're gonna go right in like that. And they give you these two smaller ones in case you'd wanna do cube lights on the outside. And they're gonna drop in like that. Then we're gonna take this hardware which comes in the kit, button head bolts with the captive washers on there. We're just gonna bolt down all of these filler plates. They take a 10 millimeter flange nut. This also comes included in the kit.
So now I'm just gonna go to the other side here and I'm just getting these all finger tight for now. Then I'll come in with the included Allen key and tighten all these down. Now, one thing I'm thinking about while I install these here is I'm just gonna make sure that the button heads of the bolts are what's behind the plates here. If you do see through those at all, I just wanna be sure you see the nicer head of the button head bolt rather than the, uh, the stud end nut side. So I'm just gonna hide that a little bit by making sure that the button head of the bolt is behind the grid. So now I have those all installed, I'm just going to come in with the included Allen key here and the ratcheting wrench and snug them up. So there's one more thing we could install onto our front bumper here, and that's only if you need it. That's gonna be our front license plate mounting bracket. Now, where we live, we don't need to run a front plate on our vehicle, so we're gonna put this aside for now. Everything you need is included in the kit if you do need to install that, but we're gonna leave it off. It helps clean up the looks too. But with that out of the way, we're pretty much done with the bumper for now, so we're gonna put this aside and move to the front of our truck and get some mounting brackets installed on our frame. So now we're at the front of our truck and in my hand here, I have our mounting bracket. You can see on the back side here, this is marked with a D and we're on the driver's side frame rail here. And all we're going to do is hold this up to the frame rail like so. You can see those three holes on there are where this is going to get secured to the frame. One thing to note, you wanna make sure that this gusset is on top and this tab for mounting up our bumper is toward the inside of our truck. Now, once you have all that sorted out, you have the right bracket, hold it up to your frame rail. We're gonna take all the 18 millimeter hardware in the kit and tighten this down. So now we have our mounting bracket in place, finger tight. And as you can see, those holes are slotted. So you got a little bit of adjustment here if you need it. Now you can always come back and loosen these up later on, but for now, we're gonna take the 18 millimeter socket and 18 millimeter wrench and tighten down those three bolts and nuts. Now we're gonna jump over and do the same thing on the other side. So you can probably guess what the next step is. We're just gonna hold the bumper up to those mounting brackets and secure it with the smaller 16 millimeter nuts, bolts, flat washers, and lock washers included in the kit.
So now we have all of the hardware in. You just want to push up on the bumper, make sure it's aligned correctly. Then we're going to come in with the 16 millimeter socket and wrench and tighten those down. And again, we're just going to hop over to the other side and do the same exact thing. And again, we're just going to push up to dial in our alignment here and then lock down that hardware. So our bumper is really starting to take shape here. It's really looking good on the front of our 19 Ram. There's one more thing left for us to do, and that is some plug and play wiring. We're just going to pop the hood open here and take care of this, and this will be a wrap. So the first thing we're going to do here is mount up our relay. And this applies for all the wiring here. It's really up to you how you want to do this. Um, good rules to keep in mind. Keep this stuff away from any hot or moving parts. And this is plug and play. It's real easy. I'm going to show you how I would do it here. Um, we're going to start with the relay. Like I said, I'm just going to remove this 10 millimeter bolt on the ground here. Uh, and this relay doesn't have to go to a ground. Usually that's just an easy spot to put it. So again, I'm gonna remove the nut, slide the relay on, and then reinstall. So we're gonna keep the 10 millimeter socket on the gun here and remove the nuts on our battery terminals, and again, install these contacts underneath of those nuts. Red is positive, black is negative, pretty self-explanatory here. So that's the positive done. We're just gonna come over to the negative and do the same thing. Now I'm just going to take our plug and play ends of the wiring here and feed these down. Good spot, again, away from any hot or moving parts, right behind the fuse box, right in front of the battery is where I'm going to go. So one more thing left for us to do, and that is our switch. Now we need to get this into the cab of our truck, and the easiest way I've found to do that is to take this and push in a grommet that's way deep down here behind the battery. Then we're gonna push the switch through that, pull it through on the other side, and then reinstall that grommet. This is going to be a little bit hard to see here, um, but it's really up to you wherever you wanna put this. Um, you can get the general gist of where I'm gonna put it just by this top view right here. Then we're just going to pull through our switch here. And there is a lot of slack on this. I'm not going to pull it all the way through. You can mount this wherever you want, and it's got that adhesive back there, so it makes it real easy. Easiest spot I found is right on this flat piece of plastic right there. So now we have our two plug and play leads all wired up and ready to be plugged in. On the driver's side, all we're going to do is grab the end of the LED light wire and put the two together. Now, one thing I did want to touch on is you will have a lot of extra wiring on this side. You can coil that up and the kit even includes some zip ties for you to wire that. I am just gonna stick that up there for now. As far as the passenger side goes, you can grab the other wire. I'm gonna send this over both of the frame rails. We'll connect it and wire manage it on the other side.
But guys, that is going to do it for my review and install of the Barricade HD off-road front bumper with LED fog lights fitting all 19 and newer Ram 1500s, excluding the Rebel models. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you in any way, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know whether it was with the install or you're just cross shopping some bumpers here. I'm Joe, subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, keep it right here at American Trucks for all things Ram.